Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, for those of you who don't know. And for today's video, I'm so darn excited because I love doing these types of videos. I'm gonna be doing a wear test on this foundation. So this is the Dermablend Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Pigment. So this is supposed to be super full coverage and I wanted to go ahead and give this a try. So if you guys are new to my channel, I do have a really oily skin, but I heard that this coverage is bomb. So I wanted to go ahead and see if it worked for my oily skin. And we also did pick up, this is the Pore Saver Matte Makeup Primer. And I already did have the translucent powder. So I wanted to go ahead and try everything out of my face, see how it worked, and then just give you guys a little bit of background information on this. And then just give you guys kind of the lowdown, see if it worked for me, and then just do a full eight hour wear test. So before we jump into that portion of the video, I just want to remind you guys, if you like what you see during the video, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. And also please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the post notification bell. Is it on this side or is it on this side? I'm not sure on either side and uh, go ahead and hit that so then you can be part of the ATFB fam, ATFB, all things fashion and beauty and if you hit that post notification bell you'll get notified of all my future uploads. I usually do upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 3pm EST and without further ado let's go ahead and try this out guys. <music> Let me first start off with my all-time favorite. This is the NYX Bear With Me Setting Spray, and I use this all the time. I swear by this, if you have oily skin, dry skin, combo skin, any type of skin, you need to go ahead and give that a try because that is amazing. It really does hydrate your skin. I want to give you guys a little bit of a lowdown on this foundation. So this foundation retails for $40. You can get it at Ulta. I'm not sure if Sephora sells it or not. Four out of five stars. Mine is in the shade 40N, so I hope it's a pretty good shade. Um, I was between 40N and 30N, so hopefully this is all right for me. 33% concentrated pigment for weightless, customizable coverage anyone can wear in any way. This water-free, oil-free liquid formula has a unique silky texture that's blendable, buildable, and customizable. It's formulated with only 10 ingredients. You get the pigment at their purest. A little goes a long way. They have 20 different colors for a shade range. You're supposed to shake the bottle well, pump the rubber dropper two, three times until you see the foundation has filled the glass veil. Repeat steps for each use. So you want to shake well, apply a uh, multi-use you can wear alone or mix with a moisturizer serum for a custom foundation finish. Apply with fingers, a buff with a brush or blend with a sponge. So step two, Build for more coverage, add more drops, and then to set it for 16 hours of wear, apply a generous amount of setting powder and leave on for two minutes and buff out. I already have super oily skin, so let's see if this works, y'all. So I already do have um, my brows done, as you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the matte makeup primer. So it's supposed to instantly minimize the appearance of pores without clogging, absorb oil without drying skin, and it's supposed to help extend makeup wear for up to 24 hours. 100% said skin felt soft or 100% said it visibly mattified skin and 96% said it instantly minimized the appearance of pores. Ooh, that's exciting. So this makeup primer is $33. All right, so that is what that looks like. Ooh, all right, so that's what that looks like. It looks very like silicone-y, so ooh. Yeah, definitely silicone based, is it? I have to look, but it definitely feels, ooh, it just spit everywhere. Definitely feels very silicone-y, but let's rub that in. It's very easy to blend out, and it feels really moisturizing, very soft. Yeah, that feels really nice. It doesn't feel like tight on my skin at all. That feels really nice. So my skin definitely does feel softer. Now, let me look at those pores. So it did actually blur out my pores right over here. My pores do look a little smaller, especially like in between my brows. They do look pretty filled in and blurred out. So I'm definitely gonna have to agree with those claims. I think it did a really good job. Like so far, my pores look pretty good. My skin feels pretty soft. All right, so next up we have, actually, let me do a little bit of color correcting underneath my eyes because my under eyes need it. 
so let me just do that really quick but anyway this is the shade 40n and we're going to shake this bad boy up and okay so if you want maximum coverage you want to do four drops at least that's what it says on the back over here and as always i'm going to do half of my face with a sponge and the other half with a brush my brush today i have the it cosmetics is just the heavenly skin brush all right so i shook it up it says to do this like two or three times i don't know how necessary this is we're gonna see all right so i'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand so one two three four and that's what it looks like so let me start off with the sponge so i just have a little bit on my sponge here and i'm just gonna start dabbing this on my face yeah, this is actually a pretty good match for me. Now, a little bit goes a long way. It's blending out really nicely. This is literally like the perfect match. I'm going in with some more for my forehead. But it's actually blending out very nicely. It looks like my skin is just better. It's coverage. Like, look, that looks really good. I could definitely build up a little bit more on uh, my acne because I am breaking out a little bit over here. So I could definitely build up a little more on there, but we could totally see if it's buildable. I want to do the other side with a brush to see what side I like better. So I don't have that much left, but I'm going to take the rest of it. Yeah, I definitely think I need to add more. I don't know if it's the sponge that ate up that liquid or what. Let's take a little more. All right, I just took that much. Don't know if we're gonna need that much, but let's see. So I'm going in a little stippling motions. That looks pretty good. This is like super easy to blend out. I don't see any like areas where I see any like streaks or anything like that, which is really good. I feel like I got a little bit more coverage on the brush side than the sponge side but both did a really good job I mean you could do either or I've been liking brushes a little bit more so I may have to say I like the brush side a little bit better I'm not hating on the sponge side I actually want to build up the sponge side just a little bit I'm doing more drops to build up this area over here because I am breaking out a little bit so i just want to cover any breakouts that i have or any texture but i feel like i definitely did get more coverage on the brush side with my texture and acne so if you are more textured i would definitely say maybe go in with a brush but this is super easy to blend out um let me actually pop on some concealer and show you guys what that looks like and how it layers so for concealer i'm just gonna go in with the kat von d this is the shade neutral in the lock it concealer hope this is an okay shade it might be a little too light usually i do highlight the center and then just a little bit more but today i'm just gonna go just strictly for the under eye area because i want to see the true foundation guys my pores look so good oh my gosh so i'm just going to next just set my whole entire face with this so it does come with a puff i'm not really going to use a puff i really don't like using puffs but it says to apply a generous amount so i'm just going to take my sponge and i don't really want to bake but i'm just going to set my entire face generously excess in some areas i know it looks crazy but just listening to directions and the powder is getting all over my shirt I'm trying to leave excess where i get pretty oily so it says to leave that on for two minutes again i didn't want to bake for the sake of trying this out i am just gonna leave this on for two minutes again very very light layer so I'll be back in two minutes, guys. All right, so it has been two minutes, so I'm just going to buff this off. Coverage, like it looks really good. Okay, so I do see a little bit of 
creasing on my under eye area. That could totally be my fault though. I've used that concealer. I really like that concealer. I feel like my pores look really good. It definitely did cover up the acne and the texture. It just sits really, really well on my skin so far. I'm really, really liking it. So it is 12.15 and I really like it. So I'm just going to finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back guys. All right, guys, so makeup is done. I was going for something really, really neutral. I wanted just a little bronzer in the crease, and then I kind of just went crazy, and this is the completed look. Um, you guys can tell that I am actually not wearing mascara because I have another video that I want to film for a mascara video, so um, that is why it looks a little incomplete, but... Uh, all I want to do is just set my face and to set my face I'm going to go in with the MAC Fix Plus Matte version of the setting spray. I love this. If you have oily skin you would love this so much. But as you guys can tell everything blended out beautifully on top of this foundation. I actually for the first time ever used, sorry I don't want to blind you guys. I know it looks nasty. This is the Hourglass um, Ghost Ambient Lighting Blush Palette and guys I'm obsessed. I look so, I have really oily skin and I've been noticing that like by the end of the night I just look super matte and like it just doesn't look pretty. So this has a little bit of like a luminous finish to it and I feel like my face just looks so much better. It looks really healthy and I really like this blush palette so far. So definitely love this. Um, lips I am actually wearing just to kind of give you guys the rundown. I'm wearing ColourPop. This is curvy two then i have morphe the talk and then i have morphe this is pop on top and then for eyes i did go in with the abh modern renaissance palette um i was going to just do those two shadows i was i promise and then i was like oh that's pretty so i dipped into that this that is a uh, valen why am I trying to read upside down? Uh, this is Venentine Red Love Letter. And then I did Primavera and I threw Golden Orch into the crease at first. Bronzer, I did go in with the Physician's Formula Bronzer. For highlights, I did go in with, this is ColourPop Double Down Super Shock Cheek uh, Pearlized. And yeah, then that's everything. That's everything I use. So let me go ahead and spray my face. All right, y'all. So let me take a look and let me show you guys what it looks like super up close and personal. All right. So I really like this coverage. I feel like it looks really good. My pores look amazing. Like my pores look fabulous. I'm not looking cakey or anything like that. But again, I've only had this foundation on for like what? 10 minutes. <laughs> so really not that long at all. But so far really like it. I think it looks really good. So, so far give me it two thumbs up. I really like how easy it was to blend. I love how my pores look. That primer is a bomb. This is a really good match for me. It was a little too late at first, but bronzer and stuff it definitely can make it wearable. I'm in love. So let me film the other video and I will be back later to check in and just tell you guys my thoughts then. Hey guys, so it is now 3.38. So I have had this foundation on since 12.15. So about a three and a half hour uh, check in, but I wanted to show you guys what it was looking like. So obviously my lip did fade a little bit, so don't mind that, but let's talk about this foundation. I feel like it still looks really good. The, the only thing, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick this up, but it did come off a little bit on my nose area. I think you guys will be able to just see a little bit of a difference. Um, I was blowing my nose like allergies. I don't know why. It's like fall, like almost winter and I have allergies. Like is anybody else like that? Because my allergies have been so darn bad, but um, it did come off a little bit around my nose area, but everywhere else 
like it still looks really good I do notice it is looking a little heavy on like my cheek area meaning that it looks like I'm wearing makeup at four it looked really like seamless I mean it still looks seamless my pores still look amazing but it just looks a little heavier on my cheek area when I get up close let me show you guys what I'm talking about so right on my cheek area I think you guys will be able to tell I see just a little bit more of the heaviness um but I feel like that's just something I can like pass on like it's not that big of a deal to me to say I don't like it because it doesn't feel heavy it just looks a little heavy I feel like if you have a setting spray probably with all the powder that I had on my face and just baking it that's probably why um, because I did really bake in the cheek area um, I think that's why it kind of looks a little bit more heavy in that area. Still looking really good, not oily and not shiny anywhere. Um, it just came off a little bit on my nose, the pores still looking bomb. Um, didn't rub off on my chin area or anything like that. Everything is still sitting beautifully. So I definitely still love this foundation and um, I'm going to check in later to tell you guys what I think. But so far, still two thumbs up, guys. Hey guys, so quick check-in. It is now 7.54 and I've had this foundation on since uh, 12.15. So it has been uh, seven and some hours. Um, but this is what it is looking like right now and I still feel like it looks really, really good. I feel like I'm starting to get a little shiny right on my forehead, but I feel like I have used other foundations that are a lot worse. I feel like right now my face just looks healthy dewy it hasn't come off in any other spots i am wearing this like white vest and it hasn't come off on my vest because i've been like this um it's wearing really well it still the cakiness i feel like went away before i did feel like you could definitely tell that i was wearing makeup on my cheeks but now i definitely feel like that went away it's still laying beautifully on my face it still looks really good so this is still uh two thumbs up i still really do like this so i am going to finish up the day and i will check in before bed and then just let you guys know my final thoughts and impressions and see if this is worth uh your money and if it's really good for oily skin so i will be back here soon guys Hey guys, so it is now at 10.43 p.m. So I have had this foundation on since 12.15, so let me do some math. I've had this foundation on for about 10 and a half hours of wear, so obviously lip faded i'm super tired but i just needed to do one last check-in to show you guys what this foundation is looking like and i have to say i still really really like it so i feel like my face doesn't look super oily like my face right now just looks really healthy it looks dewy i don't feel like it looks oily it doesn't feel oily it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey i feel like now because some of my oils peaked through a little bit it definitely is less cakey i can look better now because i am in front of my little ring light instead of at ivan's but i feel like my like my the cakiness kind of went down because my oils are peeking through but it's not like super oily it looks really really good so one thing i do have to say is it did come off on my nose a lot so like i was saying before my allergies just like killing me plus it's really cold in jersey so it definitely did come off on my nose um it didn't come off around like my nose like in like the crease part but it definitely did come off on like the top of it getting close so you guys could see so it definitely did come off right at the top here but everywhere else as you guys can see still looks really really good i feel like it doesn't look heavy it looks nice it looks like it honestly I really like how it looks I feel like it is totally worth the money the coverage really good I kind of liked it with the brush a little bit better because I feel like I got a little bit more coverage than with the sponge but with the sponge still looked really pretty it just a little bit less coverage primer definitely worked really really well I feel like it really helped to smooth fill in my pores blur out my skin and keep me matte so I really like this is amazing this is so good so again I got the shade 40N 
I give it two thumbs up. I think that it is so good if you have oily skin. I know that they make, I don't know if it's like a regular primer or like a dewy primer, but they do have a different types of primer. So if you, if you are not oily, you could definitely check out other primers. Um, but this, it is good. Like, I don't know if this kept, like, helped keep me really matte or if, or if the like primer did but that combination guys I think I found one of my favorites because this just looks beautiful um looking a little bit it did come off on my chin right here just a tiny bit I don't know if it was from me like laying down I had a blanket like right here it did come off a little bit but other than that y'all for 10 and a half hours of wear this is wearing beautifully I love it Feels like it looks really good. Feels super lightweight. It looks amazing. So definitely, guys, I give this two thumbs up. I love it. And I think I found my favorite new foundation. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you all did enjoy. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did like this video. Please also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So you can be part of the ATFB fam. ATFB, all things fashion and beauty. And hit the post notification bell so you get notified of all my future uploads. I usually do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 3 p.m. EST. But let me know what other foundations you guys want me to review because I'm obsessed with this. I love testing out new foundations. I love showing you guys what works, what doesn't, why it works, why it doesn't work, and this one is amazing. But I hope that you guys have a great day or night wherever you are, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!